hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name's ashton if you're not new here thanks for coming back um so today i thought i would do a week of um uni meals i guess like what i eat for dinner in a week like uni meals ideals i don't well I don't really know exactly what to call it. We'll figure that out by the time I get to my thumbnail. When you're at uni, you're busy. Well, we are because we're like in nine to six every day and you know, you don't want anything that's too much effort, but you also want something that's cheap. You also want something that tastes good. So I just thought I'd film what I'm eating. You might not like anything I'm eating, but just thought it might be a bit of a fun idea for why not let's try it. And I also had no other ideas of what to make because I can't spend money at the moment, so fun. Um, it's actually Tuesday today because it was bank holiday weekend yesterday and I thought yesterday was Sunday and today was Monday, but it's not. So I got a bit confused. Tuesday now, I'm gonna go to the Monday next week. But yeah, hopefully you enjoy this video. If you do, like, comment and subscribe. I don't know why I'm having lots of chaotic energy right now, but it's one of those moves, one of those moves. I generally, there's no between with me. I'm either like, what? Or I'm like, yeah, you get me? Let's just, let's just get into this video. Like I said, today is Tuesday and we are having Thai green curry, which I'm very excited for. I have made this before for the other guys. I'm just making it for me tonight and I'm hopefully gonna have some leftover for my lunch tomorrow, but I have used my dad's recipe but I can't find where he put it. So I'm kind of gonna wing it, but he's kind of explained to me what I'm doing. So we're just gonna wing it, but I don't want this video to be too long. So I've like chopped everything up and I'm basically just gonna explain it. And then we're gonna have a little cook and I'll show you the end result. This is the chicken I'm putting in, which I've just chopped up. Half a large onion, a couple of mushrooms because I just had some left over so I thought may as well use them. Lots of green beans, some baby corn and some courgettes. So hopefully that should be enough for just me because I have a habit of overcooking a lot of food and then I have loads and I have a giant portion, but yeah. Then I've got some chicken seasoning, coconut milk, Thai green curry paste and I will put in some rice. Miss, I've also back here, I've got some garlic. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much everything I'm going to put in. So we'll do a little time lapse of me cooking it. <laughs> Oopsie! <laughs> I like, it just like exploded. <laughs> that was so funny. Oopsie's lost. So my dinner is all cooked and very, very hot, very hot. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I think it tastes pretty good, but I'll do a little taste on camera for you. It's definitely a good way to get your veggies in, like it's pretty healthy, I love curries, anything like that. It's got a kick, it's definitely got a kick. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty proud of that. I think that's very good. It's a lot better than the last one I made. The last one for me was a little bit bland. Two hours later. Please excuse my face, it's my eczema. Excuse the fact that I have something on my lip in this whole clip. Please excuse it. Just ignore it. It didn't happen. It's not there. You can't see it. On my fate hand, which was a bad decision, I have just had three of these and two bowls of TI green curry and I want to die. It's Alice! What are you talking about? I was just saying, I've had three of these in the space of the last hour, and then I've had two bowls of Tiger and curry, and I feel like I might explode. Yeah, that's not an ideal it's situation. What did you eat for dinner? I had, I've, I don't even know if it technically would count as like a boo, Buddha bowl, Buddha bowl? Buddha bowl? I think, I think it's, yeah. So I had pesto infused quinoa in a little microwave packet, like the Uncle Ben's ones. Mm. You can get them in like Sainsbury's. And then I roasted some chickpeas and broccoli and sweet potatoes. And then I made like a pesto sauce. I, this makes me sound like I like do like fine dining each night. This sounds snazzy. Yeah, this isn't usually what the extent. 
extent of my food. No, nah, you still, nice. you put, cook like risottos and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I'm trying to do one vegan meal a day at the minute. So mm. this is my vegan meal. So is this mm. your first day? Of yeah, the, this is my first day because I forgot, I thought yesterday was Sunday. <laughs> I thought yesterday was Sunday. I feel like we all thought yesterday was Sunday. <laughs> so then I was we like, oh. and did nothing all day. That's what Literally. happens on a bank holiday. Exactly. That's exactly. exciting. But yeah, I'm going to go have a food coma. So we'll see you tomorrow. Mm. Bye. Bye. Hi, guys. So, oh, what was that? Hi. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. It's Wednesday. Mm, I can't English. It's Wednesday, guys. I'm making pesto pasta, which I've been looking forward to all day. I'm not going to show you how I make pesto pasta because everyone knows you, how to make pasta. You just put pesto with it. So I'm not going to show you how I make it. However, I'm making mine a little bit fancy. I've got my free from Tesco's own pesto with some Alpro soy cream, which I drizzle in. And then I put a little bit of nutritional yeast. Because why not? I'm not vegan, but why not? So... Yeah, I'm going to make that for dinner. So it's now Thursday today. I look like this because I've just had ballet. I'm making paella tonight, which again is one of my dad's recipes and it's one of my favourite meals and probably don't make it as good as him, but don't tell him that because I'll get cocky. But, um... <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna make that tonight. Again, these are all the ingredients I'm going to be putting in to my paella. Um, I've got some king prawns, which are a bit of a luxury. I wouldn't normally buy this on the student budget, but I happen to have some in from last term in my freezer, so thought, why not? I've got a whole onion, some chorizo. Yeah, there's not very much chicken, but I have lots of other meat, so we should be, we should be all good rice obviously then i'll put chicken stock and um, with like some hot water and then these i'll just probably put in to like season it a little bit and yeah i'm gonna time lapse me making it again because it's essentially like the other meal i basically just throw everything together in the pan like there's not anything fancy to it kind of just wing it as i go i actually look like i'm very pale and <laughs> i've got nothing on i swear i do i just can't be bothered to get changed i'm lazy I would put peppers in it, but I don't have the peppers, so we've got a little bit of green. I'm doing taste tests, but I've literally tried all of these foods before. But mm, it is very good. I would very much recommend. But you can basically put whatever you want in it, and you could very easily make it veggie. So yeah, I'll catch you tomorrow. It's Friday. I'm sorry you have to see me in a bun again. I had ballet last thing, and I'm lazy. It is sweaty and gross, and I'm not taking it out. Okay, so you're gonna have to deal with it. Okay. I'm going to attempt to make a vegan mac and cheese. Not that I'm vegan, just because I can't have dairy. Um, because I brought this little condiment, um, which is a vegan cheese sauce. However, it does say on the back, you can use it to make a mac and cheese. Now, I've never actually made a mac and cheese. I normally get the tinned ones, which I actually really like. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna attempt to make it not really sure how so i'm gonna add some nutritional yeast and some of my applewood vegan grated cheese so hopefully it should be all right i also have some mushrooms to use so i think i'm just gonna chuck them in you know why not um and i'm just using normal pelle pesto pasta because i can't bother to buy actual mac and cheese pasta so yeah you know might throw in some garlic might test it out but um yeah, we're gonna start cooking because I am starving. Guys, I've accidentally made a mountain of pasta. <laughs> like, there's so much. Like, look. It's 
so much. Oh well, let's just taste it and see if it tastes any good. Mmm. It's nice. Maybe I've put too much pasta with the sauce because it's lacking a little bit of flavour, so I probably add a bit more to it. But on the whole, it's not bad. It's good for a first attempt. See, ignore everything I just said. I was being polite, and the more I ate it, the more I realised it's not good. Do not try this. So guys, I didn't film what I ate on Saturday because I had leftover paella, so I didn't need to show you that because you've already seen me make it. So yeah, let's just skip on to Sunday. Okay, so it's Sunday today. I'm gonna voice over this because um, someone's got their clothes in the washing machine and you literally cannot hear anything at all. So I'll just I'll voice over it because it's a lot easier. But I'm going to be making a chow mein tonight. This is the sauce I'm going to be using. I got it from Lidl's ages ago. Never used it before, but I'm sure it'll do the job. Um, then I'm going to chuck in all this veg. I've got some onions, garlic, um, mushrooms, baby corn, a bit of carrots and broccoli because that was what I had in my fridge. And then I've got this, what the cluck chicken that I got from Tesco today that I really want to try because I'm trying to not have as much meat. Um, not vegan, but just trying to reduce the amount of meat I have. Um, and yeah, I'm really intrigued to try this. I don't know if it's going to be any good, but you know, got to try it. And then I'm going to be eating these noodles as well. So yeah, that's everything that I'm going to be putting into my chow mein. So let's just time lapse it. right now i'm very intrigued by these chicken fake chicken pieces so i'm gonna i'm gonna give them a little bit of a taste test hmm. Hmm. that's good it tastes like chicken but it's not chicken what is it fake chicken <laughs> it tastes like chicken that's actually really cool. It looks good. Yeah, like it literally looks like chicken. But it was like odd because it, like, it, I know it's not chicken, but I'm like, you taste like chicken. Hi guys, so I've eaten my stir fry and I've had a lot of my homemade brownies I make, which are very, very good. And they're literally three ingredients, dates, peanut butter, and cocoa powder, and then, But I thought I'd update you on the chicken, fake chicken scenario, because, First I was eating it and I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. I realised I'd had it with sauce, so I was like, wow, this is like chicken. The texture is like chicken. I will give it that. However, the more I ate it, the more I was like, Ugh, I'm not sure about this flavour. And in the end, it actually made me feel a bit like, okay, I can't eat this anymore. Because it's got quite like a rich flavour to it. So it's not awful. But like, I don't know, I'm not 100% convinced. But that's okay because I do like other options. I just wanted to try things out, see what I like. And you know, each to your own. Someone else might really like it. But um, yeah, I've decided I probably won't get it again. Even though in the last clip I showed you, I was like, it tastes like chicken. Because in that moment, I was like, it does taste like chicken. And the more I ate it, I was like, no, it does not. So yeah, to be fair, I think though, that meal, I could happily just not have the chicken in. I quite liked it with just the veg. So I think that's what I'll do next time. But yeah, just thought I'd update you all before you go buy the chicken because I gave you false, false opinions. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for the last meal. So it's Monday today and I am making a vegan mushroom risotto. However, it's not actually vegan because I'm putting chicken powder in it, but I've got loads of mushrooms, a whole punnet I used. Um, yeah, so then this is the chicken powder. I'm going to be using um, half the onion that I used yesterday, garlic, vegan butter, nutritional yeast, lemon juice, pepper and salt, and this rice, which I, it's risotto rice, but I generally have no idea like how to say the first bit, like, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, so I'm gonna put this all in and I'll show you when I'm taste testing it. Okay, 
Okay, so I finally finished my dinner for today. I forgot how long risotto takes to cook. That literally took me like an hour just stood there staring, but you know, hopefully it tastes good. This is my food, which I'm very excited. I put some peas in it, which once again, I forgot to mention that. So yeah, let's give it a little try. That is really good. That's got a lot of flavor. Oh, wow. Wow. Ooh. Mm. Oh, I just recommended this to me and this is honestly really good. I would definitely, definitely try it. So yeah, that's all the meals I have eaten for the week. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye guys.